Hey, howdy hi everyone. Uh, part two of our how to motorize a uh, bicycle here of uh, putting a two-stroke on a uh, we're going to do it on a vintage cruiser frame here. I've decided on the forks that I'm going to go with. I'm going with these Monarch style Springer forks. I've uh, selected the seat that I want here. I want a nice cushy seat. Give my, my Butox or whoever buys it, give their butt a nice comfy ride here. Uh, the pedals are pretty much shot. Eh, they're not totally shot on the uh, on, on, on the uh, the vintage cruiser there on the Murray here, but uh, that one of them's making a bit of racket, so I'm going to upgrade with some vintage style. Real nice, uh, heavy pedals on it. I've decided I'm not going to use the uh, piece of crap stock throttle assembly on it. We're going to go with a all metal construction other than the rubber handle. Uh, all metal construction throttle assembly on it. Uh, we're going to have to tap the uh, the inlet where the cable goes in here and we will use the the stock cable. So I'm going to take the stock cable off of the uh, the kit one and put it on. And we're going to go with the El Cheapo Deluxe expansion chamber here. Uh, there are some uh, expansion chambers out there. I don't recommend them. Uh, this one here I haven't seen available anymore. It used to be available. This is an old one I've had laying around for about the last uh, year and a half. And it uh, used to be a fairly common one, but they're, uh, they're no longer available that I can find online. Uh, there are some uh, real short banana ones. I don't recommend them so much. Uh, this one here really isn't that much better as far as the volume, but I do like the way it mounts on the bike better. Uh, you can go with a, a KX85 or a KX65. Uh, you're going to have to do some cutting and modification on it, or just uh, you know stick with the stock one here. Uh, but the, yeah, so just a, a quick update here. Uh, since we got black forks, got the black seat. We're going to go with a completely, uh, a total black bike. The uh, the wheels here that we're going to be using from the Cranbrook, uh, like I said, I'm, I like these here because they have nice heavy spokes. If you don't want to uh, use a Cranbrook as a, uh, a donor bike, uh, check the link down below. I'll show you where you can get uh, some good heavy-duty steel wheels with 12-gauge spokes. I'll show you where you can get the motorcycle style grip and what you have to do in order to uh, to modify it. I've got another video on upgrading the throttle assembly on my channel. Look at that. That shows you how where to get uh, where to get these here and as well how to uh, upgrade it. But as well, uh, check the link on this video down below. I'll show you where you can get the pedals, the uh, the forks, and uh, other other goodies for the for this build here. The seat. We're coming together on this one here, on the plans anyways here. I'm going to put this black rack on it. I'm going to make the bike somewhat utili a utility bike there, give it some usefulness with the rack. Uh, I've got the link on, on the, uh, I have the link on the web page as well. Uh, I'm going to, first thing we're going to do is get the wheels off. We're going to remove the chain guard. We're not going to use that. And I've checked the frame from one end to the other for any cracks or problems. The frame is in good shape. We won't need to do any repairs on the frame. Uh, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, obviously get rid of the wheels, remove the crank assembly from the bottom bracket here, remove that. We're going to grease the bearings, make sure the bearings are in good shape. And uh, we will uh, take the, uh, the clamp off of the seat and we'll swap that over to our, our new seat and we're going to paint the frame black. So we're going to have a, a completely, pretty much a, a completely black bike. I've got a black set of handlebars that I'm using from the Cranbrook. You can use whatever you want. I don't recommend going with ape hangers. The, uh, the, the tall bars puts a lot of stress on the clamp, and I've seen them things, uh, the, the ape hanger bars fail. But... Uh, and of course, we're going to go with a black motor on this build here. So uh, stay tuned for part three. Check below. I'll have links for the fork, for the forks, the pedals, the throttle assembly here. 
the seat, the rack, as well, if you don't want to get a Cranbrook, I'll have a link for uh, su suggested all steel construction wheels. As well, another thought, if you want to go with uh, a front hub brake, I'll have a link for a front hub brake that uh, will work very well with these forks here. Uh, the front hub brake, uh, the wheel, is uh, about $200 or so. I'll have a link for that on the page. Thanks for watching. And uh, hey, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, click subscribe, take care.